room, okay? Like, I don't know if I said this already, Zaidi boy, I think I did, aka a rational Muslim. Thank you for watching. Okay, it says 10 seconds here, and like, I try to uh, look at the camera lens, guys. If you want to do uh, your own YouTube channel, please reach out to me. Um, I'll help you if you're a lay person, an every man, every woman, I'll help you for free. Like, and this is an experiment for me, marketing. And it's the same with if you're a business. Like, I'll charge you 20%, which is to say, I'll bring you customers, rather demonstrate value, and then we can talk about, uh, like, some kind of split costing. Like, I'm not going to charge you until you see value and essentially, ideally, bring you customers or clicks or a foot in the door or some kind of goddamn thing like this, like people returning your forms and this kind of thing. Like a marketer, his job or her job is to engage with your audience, to deliver your message, to find your audience, to figure these things out, to study your market, to study your competitors. This is not just talk, right? The reason that most businesses fail is not because the products or services or location or anything is missing except the sales and marketing, right? And so that's what that is. Now, I don't know what to say or what to do anymore. Like, it's like, I finally, like, um, like, I finally got on, to, on to, uh, hand on things, guys. I have kids that watch this uh, channel now, and it's like, yo, uh, I have to be careful of what I say. I mean, I smoke weed. I'm going to say this. I smoke weed and I've been struggling with this for years. And it's like, I mean, I smoke tobacco. Okay. And it's like, ah, it's, it's like, okay. I don't know what to tell to tell you. People give me weed. Like, and I find people like who uh, give me weed. And it's like, what happened is that basically like the way I see it is like, it's like this. It's like, so this is like tobacco mixed with wheat, okay? And then I've got rolling papers, and it's like I tell people uh, nowadays, like, all you need, like, oh, God. This is a very cool thing I want to show you at some point as well, by the way. This is, uh, like, so I just, like, I'm starting the day here. I just prayed, okay? And uh, guys, like, okay, so when you get up in the morning, like, when I get up in the morning, I, uh, I mean, it's not even just the morning. I ache. I ache. Like my beautiful esposa Colombiana, Bogotana, pero no Bucaramangana, Bucaramanga, uh, una sieda cerca de la Cartagena y Santa Marta de la Rosa en la, la, las montañas. Colombia is such a beautiful country and uh, the people there are so amazing. Like my wife is from there and the people there are so amazing that it's, uh, it's a rare thing that you go there and you don't want to stay there, basically. Like you'll meet people from all over the world, Germans, Vietnamese, Portuguese, like Iranian family we met, uh, a really good, uh, we got really close to an Iranian family there. They had an import export business or a shop, basically a shop. And then we're importing like um, plastic utensils and things from Iran. Anyway, you see what I'm doing right now, right? This thing right here. So guys, I want to say like, that I've been on various paths for 20, 30 years, right? Like, so I consider myself a fitness expert at this point. I'm in great shape. I, I yo, I don't have a six pack is basically where I'm going right now. It's like, if Alex Becker has a six pack, then like, I want a six pack too, this kind of thing, right? And it's like, I heard this rap song this hip hop song, like a lyric, like I think it might have been Wu Tang or it may or may not have been. I don't know. It's just a random thing I clicked on and it, it basically had this line and it said, basically the guy said something like, I have a six pack and I don't care about crap. So right now what I'm doing right now is I'm stretching my spine. 
I'm putting downward pressure on this thing and I'm moving it around like this, right? Because your brain and the base of your neck and your spine all the way down to your goddamn feet, guys. All the way down to your goddamn feet, okay? Uh, well, let's put it this way. Like your feet, like everyone knows this, like the soles of your feet are connected to every part of your body as well as your brain. So this is why, for example, I urge you to try this out. Like if you see one of these massage uh, things, what, what are these things? It's hard to, like they should be more popular, way more popular. And this is a great opportunity if you're interested in making money online or offline. You get these things and it literally looks like this, a claw or a hand, and it has more like fingers. And, and then you massage your head with it. And when if you do this ever, guys, I've literally done it like five, 12 times, a couple of dozen times in my life. And like, for some reason we keep, like I've lost these things. And like, it's hard to keep a hold of these things. They're so good. If you start doing this and they got like little balls on the end of the fingers and it's like little plastic balls and it's all metal. And it's like, you get really nice ones and you can go like this on your head and they open up and close and they massage your whole head. And it's like, you will feel like you're taking drugs, basically. You'll feel like you're taking ecstasy, basically. And uh, it's the same with a foot massage. Like, I'm a foot massage expert, like a massage expert in general. Believe it or not. Like, I could consider myself a massage expert. Now, do I know Shiatsu or some crazy chiropractor? Have I done, like, a, do I have a chiropractor's license? No. Right? So, basically, my suggestion to you is experiment. Now, you see what I'm doing. Like, I look like a crazy drug feed, right? But, guys, this is what I do. Like, I stretch and I stretch and I stretch my spine. And if I don't, I've explained this before. What happens is that electricity travels through your body, through your nerves, okay? Your nerves carry electricity and the electricity jumps from nerves to nerves through like, once again, you've got these things that look like, they're called synapses, okay? The electricity travels down one nerve, it comes to the synapse and it jumps from one nerve to the other. But what happens is some energy gets trapped in between. So you've got millions, billions, and maybe trillions, I don't know, of these synaptic nerve endings. Okay, now, if you stretch, rather, let's put it this way. Don Juan told Carlos Castaneda, every time you sit down, okay, or lie down, whenever you get up, stretch. And Castaneda writes in these books of his that you can hear all of the cricks, these cricks, like I call them cricks. So these, the, the electricity that's trapped in these nerve endings, right, it begins to weigh you down. And it begins to, you got to free that energy up. And it is an amazing thing. Like you will literally see lights. You'll literally feel like you're doing drugs. Like, I close my eyes and do this, guys. Like, I meditate by doing this thing, like various things. Like, I'll do this. I'll do yoga with weights, okay? Um, and all kinds of things. This is just a starting point, by the way. And by the way, it helped me. Like, when I started this video, I, I was, like, aching and painting. And I lived with... Like, I had a roommate once, let's put it this way. Like, I, I, I was going to say I lived with this guy, but I'm not gay. Like, I have this thing where I feel like people think I'm gay. Like, it's a personal problem of mine. I'm not gay. I have nothing to do with homosexuality apart from my brother-in-law is homosexual. You know, my original boss that hired me into the software world was homosexual. I have no problem with homosexuals. I just want to make this clear. Like, to me, it's like a case of the line from Frederick Nietzsche, the late and great... German philosopher. Okay, he says, when chasing monsters, take care lest you become monsters. And I'm very concerned about homosexuality because homosexuals are violent, some of them. Homosexuals, some of them are into pain. Some of them are into like, uh, like all kinds of stuff that is unspeakable. And unfortunately, uh, there is a section of them that abuse children. Um, and Part of this lifestyle is that children, like it's meant, like the lifestyle is about pain and misery and suffering and how we're all suffering. 
right? There's a huge, or rather a section of homosexual, uh, the homosexual population that is filled with self-loathing for whatever reason. Like, I do not study this thing. I have nothing to do with this thing. I don't know what it is. It's exactly like La Cosa Nostra. Okay, I started a new podcast. I'm very happy with it. Gangster Talk FM. So Gary V again says, start an Anchor.fm podcast. Anchor.fm will shoot your podcast out to iTunes, Spotify, okay, uh, Google Podcast, other platforms, right? Um, you got to basically just pay attention. Like what, if you want to explode on some social media platform like Twitter or Tumblr or Instagram or TikTok or whatever... You can't just put up any old picture and write any old thing and have any old cover art, right? You got to take these things seriously and have nice, well thought out things. This is the rule, right? And then you do certain things with certain goals in mind, like you put out certain messages, essentially, like it's all marketing, right? Like building an audience always happens one click at a time, one handshake at a time, one set of eyeballs at a time, one meeting at a time. Right, one one event or webinar or concert or or whatever at a time, right? Anyway, so this thing really helps. I lived with a roommate who was a bodybuilder, semi professional kind of guy, and uh, he looked great. And I was gonna do his YouTube channel, and we were gonna call it Brown Sugar and this and that. And it's the usual crap. Like people start out being like ideal clients, and they end up being less less than this. Okay, so. I need to use the bathroom. Anyway, I do this. I need to use the bathroom, so I got to go. I mean, I just wanted to make a movie for my wife. And uh, this guy, like the brown sugar, right? He had a picture of Arnie, and he had pictures of, like, wall, uh, like bodybuilders, of course. Like, on his wall, he had a picture of Arnie. And he was talking to me about it one day. And he was the real deal. I mean, he worked out every day, and he was in shape. And he, he he's the one who told me this thing, guys. And I'm going to share it with you again. Professional bodybuilders are in constant pain. This, like, the way he said it surprised me, and I will never forget. Um, he said, well, Arnie looks like he's smiling, like these guys when they pose. That's all posing. Like, they, even the smile is part of their pose because they're in pain. They're more like grimacing. It's like, as a sales guy, I say to people, show, uh, show people your teeth. What I mean is this thing. It's a fake smile. Sometimes you feel like depressed. Guys, everyone can sell and everyone does sell. Whatever you open your mouth, you sell. And if you're worried about a job, there's plenty of sales jobs out there. And the way to get a job is to make phone calls, okay? The way to sell is to smile, okay? So some people say smile into the phone. I don't believe in this myself. In the phone, there's two kinds of uh, salespeople, okay? There's a personable salesperson and there's more of a professional or technical salesperson both of them work and you've got soft-spoken salespeople and then you've got extrovert or type a personality salespeople so what i'm doing right now again is i'm putting downward pressure on this thing and it's just massaging my spine i love this thing so much and then i'll stand up and i'll do different things i mean you can take this thing like in many different ways like i practice taekwondo right so i can put my leg up there and things like this right so again you a you are in constant pain okay when i get out of bed in the morning especially i can't even move sometimes i literally cannot move and my sweet baby i was going to mention my colombian wife she's been doing this for years like she like ever since i've known her she gets up at like five six or seven in the morning she reads the bible for two hours right two copies of the bible okay Two pens, one fluorescent pen, and then one, oh God, one biro. She writes notes to God. She marks these things. And she's been doing this for years, like 10, 15 years. I don't even know how long. I mean, and then I ask her, like, what are you doing here? Like, this is crazy. Like Muslims, I don't know how well known this is, but it's like Muslims are famous for, oh, uh, supposedly wanting to seek knowledge. So Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him and his family, he said, you know, famously, seek knowledge even if you have to go to China to seek it. 
And then he also said, seek knowledge from the cradle to the grave. This is amazing because who is he talking to? Because babies can't understand crap. So this directive, like how is it possible that you can... I don't know what it means. Like, I mean, I suppose what it means is that you should be trying to teach your baby stuff. Like, I don't know. Like, there are many sayings of Prophet Muhammad are very strange. Okay, so, and uh, I'm a Shia Muslim, and we follow 12 Imams from the family of Prophet Muhammad. And many of their sayings are very strange as well. Guys, um, well, I mean, like, there's a saying of Imam Ali's peace be upon him. Many strange sayings that are so strange that I, I mean, I don't pass over these things. I study, I study, I think about them for decades and they, it doesn't stop. And that's what my thing is. My thing? Like, you got to find your thing. You got to do what, guys, you got to do what, um, you, you have to do <clears throat> what, um, you have to do, um, Well, I mean, I, I was going to say you have to do, like, there's this whole discussion about what do you do in life, let's say. Do you do what makes you happy? Or do you do what you're good at? Or do you do what other people say you're good at? I say, I've come to say at this point, do what pays the bills and work your face off and then see what happens. Don't ask for favors. Don't make excuses. Just work hard, do the right thing and do this for, you, you have to be prepared to do this for years years right um so in any case my wife gets up in the morning and she's aching as well and and if she doesn't get she's out of bed and she's like you know some days of course it's it's, it's easy or it's easier than other days and like from my ex-roommate and he was basically my landlord too i suppose like his dad owned the house this kind of thing um in any case so like this guy um planted that seed in me that being in being your body constantly aching like or at least when you get up in the morning like your body is like boom so i mean here's the thing like with someone who exercises or a fit person like my wife or this guy brown sugar or professional athletes or people who are in shape generally what happens is this it's just like with healthy living in general as you begin to live healthier you your body begins to uh hate and just it can't stand unhealthy shit and in the morning you get up and it's like usually it's like this movie like fight club okay uh with brad pitt like the guy asks him uh <laughs> he says like have you ever been suicidal or like have you ever thought of suicide and his off the cuff reply and i know as a as a, a, a student of film that like this was just an off the cuff impromptu response because the way he laughs and he just like rolls his eyes or like he kind of looks away for a second and he says in the mornings, right? So if you exercise hard, like I exercise throughout the day, I've gotten to this point where like literally I'll be biking and I'll have to stop and I'll just start stretching on a bench or on a garbage bin or any goddamn thing, like a set of steps or anything, just to stretch and just to get limber again and things like this. So. You wake up and usually like you wake up like Brad Pitt says, like you're like the morning is the hardest thing in, in the world, right? Like Gary V says, my mentor, one of them. I encourage you to look up Ty Lopez. Okay, tylopez.com or even better, just go to YouTube and then search for Ty Lopez. Go to YouTube, search for Sam Ovens or consulting.com. Go to YouTube and search for uh, Alex Becker. Go to YouTube, search for Gary Vaynerchuk watch these videos put these guys on autoplay listen to guys like this there's more validation more love more attention more money more fun online than offline this is this is my humble report to you i gotta go guys i gotta go use the bathroom i was gonna talk about various things but uh, i just wanted uh, my wife primarily to know that i'm doing okay i'm writing you a poem as well sweetie and uh like the sun's beginning to come out and like, I'm still too tired to go jogging, like, believe it or not. Like, I haven't slept properly for days. Like, this goddamn landlord, my landlord has been, like, calling my wife. He's been calling my dad. He Like, I don't know what the hell he's up to. I don't even know if he's talked to my dad, but he's like, at one point, he's like, 
almost angry at me or something like he doesn't get angry like and I give him kudos sir if you're watching this thank you but he's a very like he's a firm man he's not an angry man and like he's been riding me to get the fuck out of here like I'm the guy who cleans up outside and like I am paranoid about cockroaches and bed bugs and I disinfect and I've been getting cleaning products and brushes and brooms and, and different things like this and it's like I get into uh, uh, misunderstandings with people. This is like my life. Like, that's who I am. In any case, my landlord, and then it's like, so, yo, so the, all of this is like, just reorg. Like, I just need to go through like stuff and make sure, like, I, I just, I'm anal about this, okay? There's a saying of Prophet Muhammad's that, a nadafa nisful iman. Okay, so cleanliness is, um, next to uh, ne cleanliness is not next to godliness that's my wife that's christianity that's the bible although i don't know if it's in the bible i believe it's in the bible i don't know if it's in the new testament because i haven't seen it in there i don't think i've read all of the new testament um guys the old testament is not for kids let me just throw that out there while i while i'm trying to wrap this thing up and so um yeah right so i think i i think i've covered it all off there's always stuff left unsaid uh, but i'm gonna leave it at that like prophet muhammad said yes nadafa nisful iman cleanliness is half of faith this is huge this is huge like here in torontopia i'll go to a uh, i'll go to a uh, muslim neighborhood let's say like there's two of them that like I literally get into fights too and it fights in multiple times and it's like almost been stabbed and threatened to be shot this kind of thing and I'm that kind of guy like I'll tell you what I'm just that kind of guy ex-security guard martial arts trained person basically at a point in my life where it's like you know what just start something let's see what happens I have all kinds of scary lines like I'll say to someone like listen have you got all your teeth this is a scary line right away. Like I've started using this and people freeze up. Like I was in a fight just like uh, today, like yesterday, this kind of thing, like punched in the head by like this 250 pound guy outside of the weed shop because he was bothering like this poor man, this homeless man. Like he was like raising his voice to this guy. And I just given this guy like some tobacco or weed or some things like this. Guys, I got to go. See you later. Say hi uh, to your mom. Talk to her every day. This is my advice to you. Okay. Keep your mom happy, respect your parents, okay, respect your family, okay, uh, work hard, don't expect any breaks out of life, life doesn't give a shit about you, life treats everyone the same, okay, you cannot fight life, okay, two things are going to happen, one of two things, either you're going to face life head on and it empowers you, or if you turn away and you become disheartened and, and like give up, then it's going to mow you over. Alright, so sorry about that, but that's the fucking fact of this thing. See you later.